So hey guys, in this video, I wanna show you how you can create a larger room in OBS Ninja. By default, you can get anywhere between like five to 20 people in a normal size room, depending on who's joining. But as more and more people join a room, each person has to share their video feed and audio feed with everyone else in that room. So those with the slower computers and slower networks aren't gonna be able to keep up as the room gets larger and larger and larger. Uh, th this is part of how OBS Ninja can be free, is everything is a peer to peer mesh. Um, but when you want to get 20, 30 people in a room, sometimes even 15, you want to reduce the load on certain guests. Those who aren't able to keep up uh, with things, they need to uh, disable their video output. They need to be only sharing their video with one person. And that is the director, the person who has OBS. Everyone else in the room doesn't need to get the video. So an easy way to solve this problem is just by having everyone in the room uh, disable their video to other room guests. Uh, there's a few ways you can do this. Um, one example is if we, if we create a room here, uh, we could add on um, let's take an invite link. We could add on to this link um, room bitrate equals zero. And I can copy this. I'll join the room. My webcam is going to time out. That's fine. Change virtual cam. I'll join as another person just to demonstrate this. Okay, let's join. So you'll, you'll see that my preview, uh, you can see me, but the, the this other video here, um, it's just audio now. And that, that that's an example of how this command works. This is room bitrate equals zero. It means that anyone connects to me in the room other than the director, the director can still see the videos. OBS can still see the videos, but other the, anyone else in the room cannot see me. And so I'm not really stressing too much. I'm only sharing audio with those in the room, not video. And so I can handle maybe 30, 40 people in a room this way. Uh, so that's one way of solving this. And that's just, you know, putting room bit rate equals zero on everyone's feed and If I take it off, for example, others will see me. Um, but those who have the, the flag set, those viewers won't be able to see them. So audio only can work. Sometimes you want to have some video though, right? Uh, well, actually, one, one thing you can do to make this a little more fun actually is you can say style equals two. Uh, yeah. Let's see what happens if I do this. With style equals two, uh, it replaces those audio blank windows with the, this meter. So uh, if you wanna have some fun, keeping it a little more interesting, you can add different styles. More styles are coming. Uh, this is just one of the styles you, you can switch to that keeps it a little more interesting, but this does have a CPU, a CPU load to it. So by default, I don't enable it because um, uh, we're trying to reduce CP load. Uh, okay, so what we can do is when we go to the director, uh, we could say enable directors push to talk. Um, we can click this little button and I can then say uh, select the output. So now everyone in the room will see the director. And if I in the room have room bitrate equals zero set, the director now is sharing video with the group. Other guests 
are not showing video. And so I'm able to um, see the director. Now, a problem you see is I see all these other videos now. I don't see just the director. Um, and, and, and that's that's kind of messy as you get 30 people in a room. Uh, each person in the room will have to click this little button to, to full screen the director. And then they'll be able to see the director um, full screen, but it it's not what you maybe want. Uh, so to give more control over this, I've added a new feature that I'm going to expand on quite a bit more into the future, but uh, well, as you can see here on the beta version, I have this feature already added in and it's called guests can see it's, it's the broadcast flag, but it allows the guests to see the director's videos by default in a way that's a little more conducive to this experience. And so the way we do this is we add on the flag called broadcast. And now when I join the room, uh, I'm now only seeing the director by default. All the other guests, uh, whether they have the flag for room bitrate turned on or off, it's disabled. I'm only seeing the video from the director. Uh, so like I can move this around to show you that it's not my local preview. That's the virtual cam. And uh, if I go here and I add broadcast on, I can get rid of that room bit right. Broadcast flag on. I join the room. I, I select my, my camera and all that. So I, I'm joining. Again, I'm only seeing the director. Um, the director. And the director here can then change their camera. So maybe... Um, Disable video, black, and now all the guests see nothing. And I can always go back to the uh, wrong one, OBS, there we go. I can always go back to it, and now the guests can see the director again. So the, the guests can hear and see the director. Uh, if you select OBS virtual cam, they can see the output of OBS. And the guests can hear each other, but they don't, um, they don't see each other. And that reduces the load. And you can get high quality audio with low latency between all the peers. They can still see everyone. So if I ended up, um, you know, bring everyone into uh, OBS, all the guests can then see each other this way right? Because the OBS system is restreaming the mixed output to the room. And so I'm able to see everyone in the room without really doing any load. So with this approach, uh, the director uh, and the OBS system, they're able to see everyone, right? Um, they're also now producing an OBS show. And they're also broadcasting out to many people in, in the group chat, in the group room. And so that OBS computer does need to be pretty powerful. I would not recommend trying this on a MacBook a laptop, for example. Uh, what I would recommend you doing is if you are using this approach, if you had a, a, a Windows PC with an NVIDIA graphics card, you can use the graphics card um, you can use the graphics cards to do the RTMP encoding using the NVIDIA encoder. So that frees up a lot of CPU for you. So um, you're not having to stream out to YouTube using CPU for that. Uh, I'd also recommend you be cognizant of the number of people joining the room. You want to probably try to keep uh, the number of people per core to maybe like two or three guests per CPU core you have. Um, and, and that way, then you'd be able to, uh, kind of, kind of estimate how many cores you need. So let's say two people per core. If you have an eight core computer, you can handle maybe 16 guests. Um, it, it will, it will depend on a lot of other factors, but, um, 
This approach will let you uh, do large rooms and everyone will be able to see each other and hear each other. And it will, it will hopefully work up to around, you know, 20, 30 people uh, with this approach. Beyond 30 people, I'm working on a better solution that has lower CPU load for the OBS studio. So that com computer doesn't need to stream out to 30 people. Um, that will probably be released in version 15 of OBS Ninja. Um, version 14, which is coming out soon, uh, will focus just on uh, try to make this, this basic experience a little better. So you can then enable this option as having a broadcast flag by default. When you come in, broadcast flag is already added on um, here. So uh, I'll just refresh and show you that again. Join there, enter a room name, join the room. The broadcast flags are automatically added to the invite. So when I invite someone now, um, it's already set up for, for this. So they don't see anything. I can go in, I can enable the output I want for the room. And now, uh, and now it should work. Beta room. Oh, I put the wrong flag in. I meant to put this one in. Oopsie. There we go. So that's just an example of setting up the flags. Uh, this broadcast invite is one directional, so they aren't going to see anything. You need to use the guest invite link if you want to actually for it to work. Okay. Um, I hope that helps. Uh, yeah, sorry if this video was a little bit messy, but um, no prep. I don't have time for that. Back to coding. Bye.